In this section, we're going to be looking at network flows. Now, network flows uh, allow you to model a whole range of different situations. Um, as the name suggests, one of the main thing that people think of when they think of network flows is looking at the flow of a liquid through a pipeline. So that might be water, that might be gas, that might be oil, for example. Um, it could also represent, however, um, a fire exit route. So um, each of the arcs could be a, a walkway that uh, people have to move through or can move through rather. Um, and on each of those arcs or edges, we have what's referred to as a capacity. So the weights here on the edges represent capacities. So essentially, we can go up to and including 10, but no further. Now, the 10 there might represent uh, 10 gallons uh, a second, for example. Uh, it could represent uh, 10 people a minute, depending on the context and the scenario. Okay, But the idea is that we can only go up to and including that value. So this is a network that is showing uh, the capacities of the arcs. And these could be pipelines, they could be walkways through a fire exit route, or anything like that. Now, there are two special nodes in this network. Uh, the first one is the source, and the source is usually labelled with an S. Now, this is called the source because this is where uh, the edges are coming out of that node. So, if you have edges and they're directed arrows, uh, directed edges, as you can see, if the arrows are coming out of that source, of that node, then we refer to it as the source. If there is a node, or there should be a node, where all of the arrows are going in to it, okay, and none coming out, then that one, we refer to that as the sink. And we usually label that as a T. So this is the sink. So you can kind of think of this as, um, you know, that's the tap and that's the plug hole, for example. Now, this node here isn't a sink because although it's got two edges going into it, there's one coming out, okay? So it's not a sink and it's not a source. You can have multiple sinks and you can have multiple sources. In order to deal with that, you've got to look at super sources and super sinks, which uh, we're going to look at in a later video. But this sets us up uh, to be able to consider this problem a little further as we're going to do in these videos.